No one cares what you have or don't have, Adam. No, we already started, so. A fucking awful day. Not today. Why are you having an awful day? No, I don't want to get into it. No, we're going to get into it. Why are you having an awful day? Just a lot of stuff. Whatever. Let me, let me I'm having the, a good uh, day now because I'm back with my friends. Let me set the timer here for getting the show started. All right. And we're in business, folks. You're listening to the premium episode of Come Town, hosted on everyone's favorite website, Patreon.com. <laughs> Uh, who made just such a great business move this month. They decided to raise prices for everyone and then pretend like it uh, benefits uh, creators, which is a word I'm really fucking tired of reading. Mm-hmm. Uh, they they have to emphasize that this is good for creators. First of all, maybe three people on Patreon are actually creating anything. We just say racial slurs. I didn't come up with the N-word. yeah. You know, yeah, it's just a. I'm, I'm, I'm it. like, I'm more of like, th- this is sort of like a lookbook for bad opinions. You know, I'm uh-huh. not creative. It's a, it's like a people like my style. Mm-hmm. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Oh yeah. yeah. So uh, what do we got? as as a we're talking about Patreon. Okay, nice. Basically, if you didn't get the email, uh, we're having a if you struggle. Pay, if you pay five dollars a month for this podcast, uh, Patreon is jacking up the fee to five fifty a month, a ten percent increase that we can't do anything about. They're going to pocket the extra fifty cents and then charge us a little bit less on the back end. Five percent less. At, no, uh, compared to the the. I mean, yeah, five percent less overall. But overall, yeah, yeah. I mean, we basically how it used to work. No, it'll is, be basically three percent less than they were charging us already. So how it used to work is math is, is gay. That, you know, you pay five dollars and on average, let me take over. <laughs> on average, we would keep about eighty eight percent of that. The new model is is they've jacked up the price to five fifty. And they say that, you know, we get to keep 95% of the pledge, but that's 95% of the original $5. So if you look at the total amount that they're taking versus what we keep, Mm. we only keep about 86% now under this new model. So they're Mm -hmm. taking more money away from everybody and charging you more without asking us. If they just needed to raise their prices, they could have just sent an email out to the people that or on the website saying, like, hey, we need to raise our prices. What do you think about doing it this way? Or here's the option to ask your patrons to, you know, cover some of these costs. If, right. You know, it'll fuck your finances up. They didn't do that. And honestly, like, if they said we need to lower your margin or whatever, that's fine. Like, we have, like, very little overhead. Right. I have no problem paying 15% rather than 12% or even fucking 20%. I mean, at that point, it would be uh, like. But they, it, as from what it sounds like, they stand to make a lot more money than just increasing twelve percent to fifteen percent. Uh, well, yeah, this increases their profit margin up to forty percent. Yeah, um, especially on on small dollar donations. Yeah, but what if like if smaller patron Patreon accounts close down, they're going to start losing money. Um, or yeah, it'll balance that. They won't make. They won't make as much. I'm as sure they had some sort of dumbass fucking, fucking Silicon formula. Valley actuary calculate this, and they determined that uh, less than twenty percent of dollar donors would leave the site permanently. Now they don't care about the effect that would have on like the smaller accounts right. for people They're whose lives at their overall yeah. numbers and saying, well, very few people make a living off Patreon. It's something like two percent of. Patreon ooh, ooh. accounts make like even minimum wage. We What's up, you motherfuckers? You broke motherfuckers. Um, um, yeah, it also sounds like they probably had like a like a like a an evaluation of their company like overall value that was too high, and now that they're kind of trying to do a cash cash grab. Oh, I got this is Adam's grab. business corner. I got some you can grab, pal. What's that? It's not cash, but it will cost you money. All I grab is cash, baby. No. I go to the... um, In Jerusalem, there's this table of Jews that change money. Really? Are they still out there? They're still out there, The money changers are still out there? Yeah. Uh, The only changing Adam does at a table is that koala station where he <laughs> his diaper changed and he lives he lives on it too it folds it's up true i live in a there. mcdonald's bathroom you're just raising your fucking your feet up all the way <laughs> <laughs> you know be you know be a good hidden camera show is you just put a camera in there and people go in and you're changing an actual koala's diaper <laughs> on that table and people are like what are you doing you're like where else am i supposed to do that's <laughs> right follow the pictures it's, it's motherfucker. on the sign it's a good i'm prank. an illiterate man that owns a koala <laughs> 
He doesn't know he how to go to the bathroom. He is not potty trained. <laughs> <laughs> so koala doesn't know how to use a toilet. I op- I live my life by signs. I thought I came into this M restaurant. Mm-hmm. M's, <laughs> yeah. M's Sandwiches. That's I think right. is the name of this business. Mm-hmm. And I went into the man room. And let me just say, these meatballs <laughs> taste horrible. Yeah. <laughs> these flat meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> Not only am I illiterate, I don't know what a hamburger is. <laughs> no one's ever said the word hamburger to me in relation to this thing I'm eating. Uh, look, I just raise koalas and don't read. That's my life. That's a good. That's a good life. Man. Yeah. Anyways, if you if you miss the email somehow and you get fucked over by Patreon at the end of the month, I apologize. Yeah. Um, so, what is what's in the news, boys? Uh, Cop oh, killed a guy. Well, no. What we do need to talk about, and this is a, a come town exclusive, but uh, Brian Singer was accused of rape in two thousand three. So if you've been following the show and like the things we've been mm-hmm. talking about, you know, Singer's been right up there. Oh yeah, in the list. One of Nick's main targets. Yeah, um, up near the top of the pyramid. Right, and we, uh, uh, I have his a cup of signal. Uh, I, uh, I'd, <laughs> I'd like to proudly announce that we have an exclusive interview oh, with the, that's right the plaintiff in the lawsuit, Caesar Caesar Juan Carlos. You know, oh my God, Honduras. We yeah. yeah, and he's here. And we're going to speak to him. Unfortunately, we only have three mics, so I have to... Yeah, Nick, if you could... You want to go? You wanna yeah, I'm going to go in the other I, room and I lift feel like, yeah, I feel like I feel like you'd make him a little uncomfortable. I'm going to go get some sets in real quick. Yeah, go okay. ahead. Put, the, so, put, the, put okay. the vest on. All right, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye, Nick. <clears throat> uh, Caesar, thank you for joining us. Uh, you're such a hero, and... <laughs> thank uh, you so much. <laughs> I'm so sorry about what happened to you. Can you describe in detail exactly what yes. Brian Singer did to you? Uh, first of all, thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you for letting of me course, come here. Caesar. Because of it is very cold outside in the parking lot. <laughs> Have oh you been out God. there for a while? I have been looking for work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, at the, oh. this is crazy at the Home Depot in bed Yes, and people cannot see me <laughs> behind the Christmas trees <laughs> because they are even the little Christmas trees are too big for me. Yeah, it's true. Caesar's two foot four. <laughs> Hey, uh, Adam, hey. come on. Don't admonish our guests. No, it's, that is true. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, Caesar. That is uh, the accurate number. <laughs> I measured him. The numero de height <laughs> for me. Uh-huh. Now, what exactly... I'm sorry if this is difficult Any for you. who I was raped. <laughs> <laughs> you were? Yes, what? it is was very, uh, very not good for me. What exactly did he, did he, did Mr. Singer do? Well, I was outside at Judge Home Depot, <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Brian Singer, he comes to, he, he drives up in David Geffen's yacht, <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> and they look, they roll down the window of the yacht, <laughs> which also goes on land. <laughs> it's a land yacht. Oh, oh wow. cool. And they roll down the window, and Amphibious. he, Brian singer pulls his head out of the porthole and he says to me do you want to become a famous <laughs> oh no and i said i can only do drywall and he goes that's okay <laughs> oh, wow so Jesus. he promised you fame but he said i could do the drywall on the shot <laughs> <laughs> did he say you could be in a movie yeah, I don't remember, but he said I could do the drywall because so that is, I am very good at the drywall. So you were intoxicated by these promises of well, drywall Well, I'm always drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, literally also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, could, I smelled something. I I'm Because it is, I started drinking for loco when I was seven. <laughs> they That's really why I drink. could not be tall. Wow. Now, okay. You seem a little hesitant to describe the actual things he did because to you. Because he bring me on a boat. Yes, and then what? <laughs> and he said I could meet a Wolverine. <laughs> he said he could meet <laughs> Wolverine. Wolverine from X-Men. Uh, yes. Uh. <laughs> and he bring me into the, the captain's room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then he fucked my ass. Oh, he oh, fucked your he ass. Fucked he fucked my ass so you bad. fucked your ass. <laughs> he said, where did you get that boy pussy? <laughs> And then he fought my ass. Oh my god! With the Wolverine's claws, <laughs> he was wearing Wolverine's he was wearing clothes. The, did he, he have the daggers? He the Wolverine's claws to fall my ass. <laughs> oh my! And god. he had a little Magneto helmet that he put on his dick, and then he fought my ass. I'm sorry that I'm laughing so hard, Caesar. No, it's okay. <laughs> you recognize this is very funny. 
Bora Dores, I cannot talk to uh, talk to about because there is pending litigation. Oh sure, but I will say that he fought my ass so bad. <laughs> really? Okay, goodbye. Oh, okay, see bye, you, Caesar. Caesar. Good to see you, Nick. Oh, what's that? I was being strong. Oh, no. hey. how did it go? You got a good set in? I'm pretty good. Wow, dude, Caesar gave us some riveting stuff. Yeah, it seems like that was a. Uh, it was like a Diane Sawyer. In that the was year. a shorter ten minutes than I thought it would be. You thought in, it was going to go ten? Mm. Uh, it was actually eight minutes. You got your pump in though. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, but uh, yeah, good for him. You know, that that was actually Times Man of the Year. Caesar. Caesar was. Yeah, Caesar Romero. Pizza Hut, whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so are you excited? You think uh, Singer's going down? Um. Well, he got fired from. Bohemian the Rhapsody. Shit. The accusation is prob they're probably not going to be able to to squash this lawsuit because of like all the Weinstein stuff. Right. So yeah, and like if the when e- Michael Egan sued Singer, nobody came forward, but like with this one there's probably a bunch of people that can right. also get in on it. Mm-hmm. And it's the same lawyer uh handling this case as did the Egan one. Uh oh. So who they Singer and his like fucking shithead friends sued that guy for like a million dollars. Oh, so, so he he's out for He's blood. got like a personal yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah dude. But uh yeah, I mean this should this because of the, the, the moment we're in, this should be the flash in the pan with Brian Singer that really uh gets him. But then it's like you know, who's this guy's yacht he's on? Some fucking billionaire gay guy that's, like, you know, hosting rape parties mm-hmm. on right. his fucking yacht. So, yeah, it's the beginning and the end for that that whole crew. Wow. Cool. Well, if you're, well, I saw today Singer said that he'd be open to working with Kevin Spacey. Oh, yeah, I watched that interview. <laughs> <laughs> Recently? Yeah, today. He said it depends yeah. on the project. Yeah, it yeah, depends the project on the project. Is how old, how old the child that we're co-fucking is. The project is hardcore yeah. child pornography. <laughs> It's Home Alone 4. Get in here, Kevin. (laughs) You want to be a star, Kevin? (laughs) I've made boys like you stars for years, Kevin. You know who is his idol, Kevin Spacey? Hmm. Jack Lemmon. Ah, Jack Lemmon, like, mentored him. Wait, oh, actually, like, they were boys. That's why they have a similar, like, cadence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Jack Lemmon also raped children. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. That's... Yeah, it's yeah, true. It doesn't matter what age they are, four or five years old, the younger the better. You know what? I'll take a used one. I don't mind. I just want a deal. Any kind of deal I can get, I'll take. Shelly? <laughs> That's where his pedophilia came from. Shelly, I tell you, I bent that boy over and I had him right there on the line and I fucked him. I fucked him, Shelly, but you know what? I couldn't find my pen. <laughs> <laughs> I had him right there. <laughs> uh, interesting, interesting. Wow. Yeah. Do you think there about was a, a movie called Glenn Very Glenn Gay? <laughs> <laughs> yep. And oh, it's yeah. two guys named Glenn, mm-hmm. <laughs> and they're like, "Guess who?" You know, and they're just like, really gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds smart. Door to door. Yeah, and it's raining salesman. all night long, and they have to. They have to suck nine hundred dicks before the end of the month, or oh, Alec shit. Baldwin's going to fire them from the gay store. Yep. And he's like, Patel, what is yeah. this? You want me to suck Indian dick? I yeah. fucked 900 guys last year. That's who the fuck I am. <laughs> Put that coffee down. <laughs> Coffee's for homos. <laughs> you think I'm fucking with you? <laughs> I am not fucking with you. Uh, just a straight guy pretending to be gay, yeah. meekly sucking a dick. Yeah, right. <laughs> A, always, B, B, G, K. <laughs> always be gay, baby. <clears throat> That's the motto of this show as well. You know what second prize is? Two tickets to the Gloria Estefan musical. <laughs> <laughs> well, wouldn't they enjoy that too much? Yeah, but that's, I mean, they would enjoy the steak knives, too. That's true. Who doesn't like a set of steak knives? That's true. Yeah, that's true. Third prize is you're fired. <laughs> Damn, Alec Bowen was really tough in that. Yeah, I wouldn't like that speech. I watched. I watched a little bit me. of. Uh, yeah, he's a bad Hunt for boss. Red October, the other night, and it's like, man, Alec Baldwin really, really swelled up. Yeah, he was sexy as shit. Yeah, yeah. he was slim, and he cut the, those, those eyes. Those it was yeah. beautiful drinking, blue right? eyes. Yeah, it's all drink. That's yeah. how Irish people get fat. They just yeah. 
in the like, face. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like a sponge. It's like one of those dinosaurs, like mm-hmm. as a little kid. Yeah. You just put it in water, it gets big as hell. Yeah, it's true. Glenn. Like Billy Joel. Like he those, was always ugly. Like though. those Pollocks up in Greenpoint. Glenn Billy, Glenn Joel. <laughs> Glenn Billy, Glenn Joel. How about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> I don't know where to go with that Cut one. Off, da, da, da. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. I thought that would be easier than it Only was. Only uh You want to be an uptown girl? Get them to sign on the line. <laughs> Only the the gay suck dick. That's good. Ba, da, 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 da. That's ba, good. Da, 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 Wait, it, now you But why are you making him gay? <laughs> The joke is it's Glenn Gary, Glenn yeah, Ross. Yeah, the last one Billy was Look, man, I have a very limited skill set, all right? <laughs> you know what? Like, it's not my fault. You know what I mean? You bring in a fucking hammer for a scalpel's job or whatever the fuck that's saying that is. That expression. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what you're that's doing a, right now. It's You know where that expression comes from is the <laughs> doctor's office where a surgeon accidentally beat a patient to death with a hammer. <laughs> Because someone handed him a hammer uh-huh. instead of and a scalpel. Like, well, this is what I do with this. Yeah. That was on The Nick. Oh, shit. It was that episode of The Nick where they stopped using hammers and started using <laughs> <Yeah>. scalpels. <laughs> Medicine. It's my latest invention. <laughs> <laughs> Knife. <laughs> now we don't need to do brain surgery with the spoon and the hammer. <laughs> Man, that show fucking rules. Yeah, the it's Nick. really good. I love it, too, because like, every surgery is like... They always have an audience, but it's only like four people, so they're basically like just doing an open mic. Right, it's comedy. They're like New open York. mic surgery. <laughs> yeah. and, and the guy's and like, oh, I've, uh, this is a new type of, uh, this guy has a sublingual cyst, and we're going to burn it off rather than cut it out. So, uh, doctor, if you could uh, 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 bring in the 1800s battery where all the wires and acid are exposed and it gives off radiation, please. And we'll charge it to 8 million joules. And I'm going to shove this speculum thing down this guy's throat and he's dead. So... That's it. That's I'm still working on that one. Uh, yeah. You know, I don't really what else is out. going? I don't on. really have a way to finish that bit yet. But what kind uh, of surgery do you guys want to do? You guys on whites only Tinder? <laughs> <laughs> it's a newspaper. <laughs> yeah. Any guys on the social register they got these days? You meet abroad, maybe. Yo, yeah. What? That's crazy. Classified ads. People used to put out like. Yeah, I'm horny. Like, yeah, I'm. I'm I have, trying to fuck. I have brown hair. I'm five seven. I have a master's degree, mm-hmm. uh-huh. and I like going tango. Dancing. That's how Adam's parents met. They were both unfuckable people that had to have <laughs> sex through the Jewish Times newspaper. <laughs> My parents were both attractive. J Lights magazine, twenty <laughs> somethings. Is where did they meet? They kept getting set up on dates, and my mom kept thinking my dad was a fuck boy. Really? Yeah. yeah which he is. Yeah, your mom Your mom really bit the bullet. Just and then they, I guess he smashed eventually. That's, so that's what they call sucking Adam's dad's dick, because his dick is the size of a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> He's a real... She bites it. Is it as hard as a bullet? Yeah. Is your dad's dick as hard as a bullet? Uh, I've never seen it hard, but I've seen it flaccid plenty. How big is it? It's it's not, it's fine. Well, it's what do you say? A, no, what it's fine. You say? Wow, Adam sucked his dad's dick. No, it wasn't hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, but you tried. Even, it doesn't count. Yeah, yeah. Please stop Adam. sucking my dick. <laughs> stop it. You don't know how. I was, don't use your hands. You don't know how much old neck, Adam. <laughs> it takes to repair sucking your father's flaccid penis, but uh-huh. you can work through it after with a, enough talk therapy. And yeah. Mm-hmm. Adam for Time Magazine person. Of Let's the year hear it. Okay. For being forced to suck his own dad's <laughs> dick. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't forced. Yeah. It was a fun activity. I, I saw my dad's dick quite a quite a bunch as well. Nice dick, my dad, unfortunately. Much meatier than mine. It makes me upset. You you think so? I think so. I mean part of that is I was a child. Right. So it was a grown That's man's the question. dick. But it's bigger it's smaller than I Remember, but it's still pretty big. You've seen it as an adult. With I've adult seen the eyes. outline. Yeah, he's been in. He's been in like movies. Plenty of, some movies you've seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've put a camera in his bedroom and tried <laughs> to catch him beating off. And uh, I, it's like, still, what I still the catch fuck the are you doing? You're like, I'm just trying to see how big your dick is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gay. I'm not doing anything gay. 
I just want to compare dicks with you in a way that wouldn't be weird. So I set up a system of mirrors and cameras all throughout the house to catch you in a candid moment. <laughs> Damn, I wonder yeah. where my dad beats off, actually. He right? doesn't beat off at the house. Yeah, he beats uh, off at the wood shop. At the office, stop, for sure. Yeah, stop. Why do you... Uh, Every year for Christmas, you get me boxers with ruler on front. <laughs> <laughs> you buy pants with, with ruler markings all over them. Uh, I'm not getting him shit for Christmas. I bought my mom a damn dishwasher. Yeah? Yeah. He can fucking wash some dishes. That's his fucking present. Well, now he has a dishwasher. Huh? Is it a dishwasher, on wheels? Huh? Dishwasher, dishwasher on wheels? No. Why would it be on wheels? Because then you could bring it wherever you want in the house. Whoa. And you can eat in your in room the bedroom. and wash That's your dishes. That's a good idea. Yeah. That's sick. You need to be hooked up to hot water, though. You know what's really sick? What? Adam. He has HIV. <laughs> Seriously? I'm sorry, Adam. Yeah. I don't know. Nick's mad He's wearing a hat that says the terminal. I'm not mad at you. I'm is, never mad. Is it because you're terminally ill from AIDS? Um, oh, is that no, supposed to be the movie? it's treatable. I don't think it is. AIDS? Nah. Or isn't it treatable these that's days? That's a myth they're telling live for a long guys. time. <laughs> so that if they get so it, they don't they think it's a big it. deal. Yeah. And then no, that's a myth they I tell female porn stars so they can force them in the fucking game. Oh, oh now no. it's your cause. R.I.P. It's not my cause. It's in the fucking news. Yeah, I'm just saying. You just you took the easy take here. That's that's not what we do on Cumtown. Obviously, everyone's mad at the woke people for bullying. Uh, Augustus uh, what's August it? Ames. Yeah, Augustus whatever. Gloop. August Ames. Terrible name. She she looked better <laughs> before the plastic surgery, but damn, dude! She's now you're body great. shaming her, and she's dead. No, she, I've That's been a fan up, for a couple. I'm for a not familiar while. with her work. I did check. I'm it I'm familiar. Out. I checked it out after I found out she was dead. Yeah, that was the problem. Also, like I found out a porn star died, and within like ten minutes, I was jacking off to porn. To her porn? Just to porn. Be I honest. just remember it porn. porn. It was like remember that documentary, like after porn or something. I think no. uh, what's her name? Um... Sasha Gray, not Sasha Gray. The uh, from Parks and Rec. Oh yeah, yeah. She did a. She did a. Uh, something Plaza. Something about the no, girls. No. Uh, the what? Uh, Nick Offerman. No, the no. Fucking Rashida Jones. <laughs> Rashida Jones made a documentary about girls trying to leave porn or something, and I I watched maybe three minutes before. You're like, I was like on my laptop. I'm like I might as well just watch. About yeah, Rashida, porn. my pants. Where is the bathroom? I'm about to Rashida, my pants. <laughs> You know? Oh, yeah, yeah that's cool. You know, mm-hmm. folks? Quincy Jones' daughters. Yeah. Um, Rashida. And another one who's also hot. I've never seen the other one. She's just a regular person, I think. She's going out with... Quincy uh, J.O.'s, you know? Quincy jacks off. Yeah, he does. Nah, Quincy fucks, dude. You know Quincy Jones fucked in his day. Had to. Had Music, to. Musician. I mean, everyone, made fresh everybody prints. fucks. Yeah, but he really fucks. It's like that R.E.M. song. Everybody fucks. Everybody <laughs> sucks. <laughs> My dick. Apparently, Michael Stipe raped a boy. Oh, damn. Read that in the blind items. That sucks, dude. Wait, you can't believe every blind item, though. Watch me. Uh, believe every victim, Adam. Yeah. I believe every random accusation that doesn't even name a perpetrator, and you have to guess who they are. I'm glad Did you that see someone who was <laughs> like... Uh... I, it does, it's time for the board game Clue to make a comeback, but this time <laughs> <laughs> it's a rape. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was Colonel Mustard in her ass <laughs> in the kitchen <laughs> with his penis. <laughs> a little, pe- little penis figurine. <laughs> Everyone knows whoever got the penis is the one that did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it certainly wasn't the candelabra. That shit would just melt. I guess you could. You could. You could it's, it's sodomize it's someone. It's not, yeah. They're not with a candlestick. It's the. The candlestick could work too. Yeah, the lead pipe. Oh. That's a good one. And then you get you could and then you, you get could fucking cancer and damage. And, that. and it's pretty much always Colonel Mustard. <laughs> oh yeah. Who was it? Well, Colonel Mustard loves busting, dude. Bust, bust <laughs> Colonel, that mustard, Colonel Bustard. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a <laughs> spicy mustard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Colonel Bustard. Yeah, uh, that's my new pickup line. I go up to women in bars. I go, "What up, bitch? My name's Colonel Bustard, and I got a clue for you." <laughs> and then I point down, and my dick is completely hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely out. You say? Yeah, it's out and hard. <laughs> hard covered in mustard. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's good, brother. Yeah, um, uh, they call me they call me Oscar Meyer because I'm admiring your vagina, <laughs> like Oscar the Grouch. I'm because I'm pissed off like Oscar the Grouch because I'm not fucking right now. 
<laughs> Hell yeah! Just reading it all out of a notebook. <laughs> yeah, you have, yeah, you have note cards like you're giving a presentation. <laughs> prepared pickup lines. <laughs> Not making eye contact with her once. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, is, is there any truth to the fact that your penis was exposed covered in mustard at the time? I I do not recall that specifically. <laughs> Is it whispering to my lawyer? I do I do not recall any of that specifically. No. <laughs> no, no. I'm not denying it. I say do not I do not again, I do not recall. This this deposition is over. Thank you. I get up from the table and on the video camera you can see my penis is still out yeah. with the mustard on it. Yeah. You try and do it to the plain the bailiff. Yeah. There's a mustard trail behind you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At which point the defendant referred to himself as Colonel Buster. He <laughs> said, I am retarded for busting. <laughs> In the army. <laughs> he is a colonel in the army and that he is a full bird colonel and then he flipped the bird to the witness and then attempted to insert his middle finger into her vagina <laughs> damn bro and he's like this is what I call flipping you off Mm. In oh, terms of cool. sexual, that's badass. Like off, because I'm a bug repellent. Yeah. Oh like, shit. Like because I like to make Adam go back to the woods. Yeah. Where he fucking came from, and that's she right. said, "Who's oh, Adam?" Bug. The bug thing. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Who is?" Bring that back. At which point he about? ejaculated. Stop, <laughs> yeah. Stop spraying <laughs> off into my pussy. <laughs> Not guilty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who else was included? There was like Professor Plum. Or yeah, some that shit? Scarlet bitch who was Chinese. Oh, she was kind of hot. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, that's the one you thought was hot. Interesting. Wait, yes, one. she was the only hot one in the. Outside. Some woman yeah. hit me up on Instagram. She's like, "Do you have any shows coming up?" I was like, "Yeah, here are my dates." And she was like, "Good. Hopefully, I get to meet you, and I can tell you about how Adam tried to employ his Asian fetish on me, <laughs> and like completely felt like he completely blew it." Is this true? <laughs> yeah, apparently, yeah. Damn, was she I don't know, some Asian woman that you made some some you blew it with. You're like me, some... so honey. I don't think I've ever blown it. Oh come on, yeah. no, it's not. You've I'm... never blown it. No, no. I'm batting one thousand. You're like gong. The gong thing. Bong. You hit the gong with your dick. Yeah, of course. Um, that's not true. It's. I mean, that's why would he lie? Happen. Okay, cool. If that's true, that's. That's you probably weird. just tried to fuck someone and it didn't work. What's the big deal? Yeah, I know. I'm not embarrassed by it. Yeah. No. Uh, I would be. <laughs> I'd be embarrassed by it. <laughs> Adam tried to employ his Asian fetish? Uh, no, she, she, was, she basically said that you... It, I mean, I, those are my words. You tried to fuck. Yeah, she said Adam's failed attempt or something like that. Yeah. Oh, cool. You tried to smash. No big yeah. deal, dude. Take your shot. Shoot yeah, or shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, now she's going to fuck Nick. Colonel Buster. No, no, no. You mean. Now, she's, now she's gonna fuck Colonel Buster. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, con- I contact Colonel Buster. <laughs> Just say, because uh, do you know what Colonel Mustard looks like? He's got that yeah. big mustard, yeah, yeah, mustard yeah, like yeah. the pith helmet He's or whatever. Redhead. Yeah. And he just loves fucking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The colors now It's not gonna be yellow anymore It's all fucking yeah, all yeah, white The defendant yeah. then busted in his pants, <laughs> as described earlier in the case. Busting is the act of ejaculating. <laughs> Henceforth, known as ejaculating. He said, see you ejaculator. <laughs> and then he threw one of those smoke bombs, but yeah. it came up. He was still there coughing. He's like, if you don't like Clue, maybe you'll enjoy Connect Four. I'm talking about my four inches soft <laughs> that you can connect with. <laughs> and then he put his dick through the Connect Four game. This is the, one bo- of the, holes the board in. games pervert. He said, "King me," <laughs> <laughs> and the d- witness said, "That's checkers." Mm-hmm. And he said, "Actually, it's rallies. Why don't oh, you rally shit. for yes, this wow. dick?" <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> wow, yeah, that's good, that's dude. Cool. That's gonna get you pussy. <laughs> <laughs> The schizophrenic pickup <laughs> artist. Yeah. <clears throat> um, the Big Buford. 
That's what I like. A hamburger that sounds like someone's retarded son. <laughs> oh, I love the big Buford. <laughs> Buford? Did we do, did think, we do that show we, we did, did on the big. show before? I'm pretty sure we yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. I might steal that one for the stage as long do as that. I was the one that said That's it. good. Um, fuck. I never played Clue, though. You know, it wasn't much of a board game family. Didn't understand the rules. Yeah, you couldn't yeah. read the Monopoly. Directions. Who gives a fuck? You know? Stav ate all the Monopoly pieces. They look delicious, dude. Yeah. That little hat. Is this, a, is this a Hershey's Kiss? No, it's a <laughs> rectangular piece of paper that says 500 on it. <laughs> I don't know. It looks a lot like a Hershey's Kiss yeah. to me. <laughs> is that you? Your parents are poor because you literally ate all their money. <laughs> Stop it, us. Where did all of our money go? I you thought it was cho- I thought it was candy bars. <laughs> Uh, no, they never had money. <laughs> My dad one time, every time he got money, he would buy something incredibly, like, lavish immediately. Like a velvet thing? No, he would just, like, well, he would buy, like, a fucking Nintendo... Or he would buy, like, a fucking... My dad got TV. addicted to my Super NES. and really? like Yeah. Like, would stay up until, like... Did he also get addicted like, to your Super N- NES? <laughs> oh, God. I <Super> <laughs> got addicted to your asshole? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Did he answer the question? Did I'm he? just going to stay quiet. Did he? Yeah, did podcast. he answer it? Adam? Um, we can move on. Just answer Nick's question. Don't be rude. He didn't get did addicted to my ass. <laughs> my dad did not. <laughs> <laughs> he can quit whenever he wants. <laughs> he doesn't have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to work st- just after having eaten your ass. Mm-hmm. But he can do it whenever he Yeah, <laughs> he's... Taking breaks, going to the parking lot, mm. fucking you. <laughs> he didn't have to go to my son's ass anonymous. <laughs> That's where Kevin Spacey is. They sent, his, they sent him to fucking rape rehab. God, imagine the great people you meet at rape rehab. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Friends for life. I'll never forget What's the, always in Europe? The summer we spent at Camp Fuckaboy. <laughs> It's always in Europe, too, which is like... <clears throat> no, he's in, like, Arizona. Oh, I guess shit. Weinstein went to Europe. Which Weinstein is like, went on vacation, Yeah, that sounds like it's always in Europe, Adam. <laughs> I guess not. How, who else has gone to rape rehab? <clears throat> Weinstein. Did you hear that shit about Stallone forcing some girl to, like, suck his bodyguard's dick while... Yeah, yeah, fucked? yeah. That was fucked up. That was a blind item, like, a couple months ago. Damn, dude. I guess they are all true. This one is true. She was in... She was... It was like a police report or something. Yeah, if you guys don't read Crazy Days and Nights, you want to fuck your head up. Go read that shit. Where's that? What's Crazy Days and Nights? It's the Adam Sandler Hanukkah movie. (laughs) (laughs) What do we say about you doing jokes on the show? (laughs) I'm really not having fun. Raise your hand. (laughs) (laughs) This is not a fun one. I've had a bad day, too. I don't know, man. Why did you have a bad day? I don't want to talk about it in Just a lot of... He was doing a lot of errands that took a lot of time, work... So you had a regular person's day. No, no, it was bad. It was bad. What was bad? bad. What could possibly be bad about it's it? It's just This nothing. is why we have a podcast it's to personal. talk about these things. It's, well, not your personal she life. Got fucked. We're Stav's personal life. I'll talk about my personal yeah, life all the time. That's what I said. We have the podcast <laughs> to talk about <laughs> my <laughs> personal life. Your personal my life. My mom's no. coming to visit this Stressful. weekend. I'm excited. That's great. Yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna take her to MoMA. Yeah. I'm gonna take her to get dumplings. She's she gonna love her. I'm, I'm Wait, gonna take. Uh, of, I'm taking of Adam's Greek shit, mom to Doma. Speaking of Greek shit, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> you can dome a bunch of guys, <laughs> right. like yeah. me and my friends. She's a real <laughs> per- easily Googleable person. Yeah. Um, get, actually, I don't know if you can Google my mom. Um, speaking of Greek people, did you see uh, I can uh, Papadopoulos' her. girlfriend? No. Oh, you gotta look her up, dude. Is she a baddie or is she bad looking? She's like, yeah, she's like a Greek, like. And he li- he reached yeah. out to me on. I'm also LinkedIn. taking Adam's mom to the oh. Air and Space Museum, <laughs> which is what I'm going to create in that pussy. You know, and you Air her, and Space. You fuck her so hard she queefs. <laughs> People are like, what's that noise? Be like, that's Adam's mom learning <laughs> about rocket fuel. Yeah. You know? <laughs> ah, fuck. That's All right, keep good. talking. I'm going to think of other museums. Um, yeah. So I'm taking her to the Spy Museum. You know, I'm going to spy. That ass. <laughs> the Holocaust, because why not? You know? Yeah. For old time's sake. Yeah. Um, she loves that one. Taking her to MoMA, taking her to see Ai Weiwei's <laughs> exhibit or some shit, that public art project. Yeah, I'm Gay Gay. <laughs> yep, I'm Gay the Gay. The famous Chinese Two Chinese guys 69ing. 
Uh, you think you could do a cartwheel? Two guys could do a cartwheel while 69ing? Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah, in yeah. Cirque du Soleil. That was the opening ceremony for the Sochi Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was Beijing. <laughs> Did you... Uh, is, so Russia's banned from the Olympics. You Straight guys up, that? dude. Not allowed at all. Get Straight. the fuck out, Straight you fucking Ruskies. It's finally going to be Sean White's year. You know, <laughs> yes. To take no, the, we the might not do it either. Trump hasn't decided. What the fuck is that? Why would Trump we said go? he hasn't made his mind up if we'll go or not. Because he wants them to beg and Wait, say, like, hold you're on. great. Does Trump get to choose whether Apparently he, he thinks he can. <laughs> <laughs> I like that that's what he thinks the president does, is decide whether we go to I, the Olympics or not. <laughs> I, yeah, he just wants to feel wanted, you know? I he, think like, he, he has no control over that. I think he has I some think control. He might, I don't like, know. Like, most Jimmy Carter, Olympic athletes aren't even American citizens. <laughs> yes, all, when they boycotted like in the Kenya 80s or, yeah. was that Reagan's decision I think it was um, Carter I think, well, did was they boycott or the decision. Soviets everybody boycotted. hated the, the Russians no they banned they banned the Soviets they banned the Soviets for the from LA the Lake Placid ones oh yeah, yeah and then the Soviets boycott no LA, they, they banned didn't come us to LA. from the Moscow one. it was like a, they a wouldn't come to LA yeah thing. yeah exactly but yeah uh, I think I don't know if he has I think athletes can still go even if he says no but he might say no. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. Fuck if Trump. he tell, tells them that they can't go, you hear he's not telling uh, them that we can't go. Yo, let's be a bobsled team. Hell yeah. Cool runnings, too. It's us. That would be cool. Hell yeah. Jamaica. We, we can hide a bunch Jamaica. of weights in Adam's asshole <laughs> to make the bobsled go fast. I'll I don't be in know. the front. You have to be in the front. I'll be in the front. I'll be the bullet, dude. I'll be like the fucking. That's where we're being fat comes no, in. You're John dude. Candy. No. You're the coach. No. Yes, you are. That movie no. is so good. I'm going to be the fat first fat bobsledder. I haven't seen that movie in uh, probably 20 years. Jamaica, we go yeah, to bobsled team. team. That's a good movie, dude. Yeah, it's really good. And I think John Candy gives like a pretty heartwarming speech. Of course he does. R. Not R. John Handy and he jacks people off. <laughs> That's the guy from Mad Men. Jack Handy. He already does that. And he writes good little... Bits for us. How about Jack Offy and he jacks people up? <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Not that. Now Jack Not Offy, that that's play. good shit, brother. That's a good bit. <laughs> I changed my Instagram name to Jack Offron, and I don't think people get it. <laughs> it's like Zach, it's Zach, like Zach Offron. Efron, but it's Jack Offron. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Why wouldn't people get that? I don't know. You're at you're Jack fucking Offron idiots. now? No, it's my display name. Oh, your display. Jamaica, we go to Bob Sled Team. What was your favorite movie as a little kid, Nick? Oh shit! Um, how? What age? Let's say Probably like Who Framed Roger Rabbit? That's good. That's a good answer. As a little ass kid, yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking like eight. What like your first? The first shit you watched over and over again? Oh, uh, probably Winnie the Pooh. Okay. Yeah. Was that a movie? It was a video. Okay. Yeah. Remember my friend would come over and we just watch Winnie the Pooh over and over. We would again. fucking run through. Peter Pan like motherfuckers in my household. Disney? My little brother loved that, that shit. shit. How about beat her off right. instead of Peter Pan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's the guy that beats off. Mm-hmm. Uh, I watched the Greek version of Beauty and the Beast a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was just over It's where it's a bell is a man. <laughs> yeah. And then Gaston is also a man and so the beast <laughs> and they all have sex with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It wasn't animated. There are many <laughs> different types of men in the village, <laughs> and we all have sex with each other. <laughs> but only one of us can read. <laughs> Bell, the one who reads, that makes him a different type of gay. <laughs> oh, don't we wish we all could fuck, Bell? <laughs> Guess what? You can. <laughs> and then we fuck for the next twenty minutes. <laughs> but there is one man who is a beast. <laughs> Uh, he's just, but he's not even the beast, just like a yeah. hairy Greek guy. Well, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's a beast and they're like, how can we fuck him? <laughs> we don't know if he has a dick. <laughs> and then at the end of the movie, he gets so mad that his fucking little lipstick and uh-huh. dog dick comes out and they're like, Grazi, we can <laughs> suck it. And then they suck it and it turns into a huge man's penis. Oh, oh and then it saves back shit. The and wow. they're like, thank God, our economy is saved. <laughs> <laughs> we saved our economy. <laughs> By having sex with each other. <laughs> <laughs> and all the dildos in the beast's house turn back into people. <laughs> Just covered in shit. Yeah. They're wiping it out of their <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah, eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, What's the name of this movie? <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Have you never seen Greek Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, what a great movie. That was really good. Yeah. I was laughing with somebody about, like, I, I don't even remember the context at all anymore, but a movie called, like, The Grinch Should Fucked Up Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and he, like, goes into the town and just, like, t- takes a huge shit in their living room. Yeah. <laughs> and then fucking, he goes back up and he's like, but they're still singing <laughs> and laughing and dancing. And then he, like, races back down into the town to eat the shit. <laughs> He's got shit all over his mouth and he's eating it in front of everyone. They're like, Abu, Bobby, Abu, you know? Yeah, yeah. And he's like, here's presents for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and the yeah. Grinch's stomach grew three sizes that day. Damn, my man, the Grinch eating shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a shit eating Grinch. Yeah, I think uh, that's where it started. That's, that's definitely now that makes a lot more sense. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's a fun little pun <laughs> that turned yeah. into a pitch, a movie pitch. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, what about you? What was your favorite movie? As a bit, little baby, uh, probably like Tar- Tarkovsky. <laughs> Fiddler, no, on the roof, uh, <laughs> Fiddler on the Roof, yeah. I really uh, like... What was the one where uh, Bette Midler pretends to be a man? Uh, that's actually Barbara Streisand. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's yeah, called yeah. Yenta. Ye- Yenta. Right, get that's it right, it. dude. Yeah. That's the Torah. Adam okay. Sarah movie growing up was the Prince of Tides. <laughs> yeah. Where movie. she plays the therapist. <laughs> she plays the therapist. And he used Nick to, Nolte's Adam therapist. used to cry and jack off to the scene where a young Nick Nolte is raped. Well, <laughs> Whoa, that, he gets that raped? is embarrassing, but I could jack off at three years old, so oh, it's wow. impressive. That's pretty cool. Uh, Bette Miller's basically fat Barbara Streisand. I right? really like the... Yeah. Um, I don't remember what my... F- I liked Lion King a lot, probably. Yeah, but yeah. I really liked... Suck my penis. I had the and cassette. And then lick on my balls. I had the cassette for Little Mermaid. Yep. That's another Soundtrack. one I had. That's another one I had the Greek version of. Under the Sea was like my favorite song. That's a jam. For like the first Suck couple of years of my and life. Then eat my ass that and La Bamba. Let me fuck on your father's dick. La Bamba? La Bamba so was so my so favorite suck song. Suck my penis and eat my ass. I'm very gay. I used Please to watch the La Bamba movie all the time. With, uh, what's his name? Lou Diamond Phillips? Yeah. There's a movie about La Bamba? Yeah. It's about Richie Valens. My grandma had all these, like, VHS tapes in the back of her closet that she would, like, tape when they would play... Oh, shit. Three Just movies in a row. Take it off the v- off the TV. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. So it'd be, like, a cassette tape, and it would be, like, Garbo Talks and, and La Bamba. Hell, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I remember... You get to watch the commer- the fun commercials too. I don't remember there being commercial breaks. Mm. I forget it was from like Turner Classic Movies or something. Okay, so we just play okay. straight through, or, or maybe there were. I don't know. I don't think there were commercials. Yeah, but yeah, I remember like because it would always be like two or three movies on one cassette, and I'm like, wow, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm rich. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is what being a fucking millionaire must be like. <laughs> yeah, uh, little did little baby Nick know you would have. Every movie you ever wanted. Right. At your fingertips. At my fucking fingertips. I can watch any movie now. That's right. And Name I don't, a movie. And I don't do it. You were on a nice roll. You were watching movies like... You were I, like I, three I, I, watch, I watch like a movie a day almost. Really? Yeah. I can't do it, man. I always... Every day I wake up and I'm like, I have to get something done. Then I have a panic attack because I haven't done anything. Then I like check my phone for three hours. Yeah. And then I rushedly do some work. Rushedly. Yeah. Rushedly. <laughs> That's good. Hurried, hurriedly do some work. Mm-hmm. Right. Is rushedly a word? Yeah, it counts. You sure. get it. Yeah, and, Solomon uh, rushedly. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know. I fuck the like, fatwa. I fuck Padma. Didn't he fuck some From hot Top woman? Chef. Yeah, doesn't he fuck Did Padma? Did he fuck her? I think so. Solomon Rushdie? I think so. <laughs> That's pretty sick. Nah, what was his, what was his ex girlfriend's name? Or maybe just some hot. Yeah, Indian he fucked. Yeah, no, because she got she got mad at me. Oh shit! For Sam real? Rushdie's ex girlfriend like was like because of the Nicole Mullen shit. Oh right. And she really? used to have this YouTube video called the Black Daily Show. Oh. This is back before the Daily Show was the Black Daily <laughs> right, Show. Right, 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 right. And I was very tempted to make a show called The White Black Daily Show, <laughs> where I do the white version of The Black Daily Show. Uh, was she black? Yeah. Uh, God damn, what was her name? I can't... F- now I can't remember her Janet Jackson? Name. Anyways. Janet Jameson. <laughs> she she made a whole video about, like, fuck this, and she read all the headlines, and it's like... 
It's clearly this is much funnier than your show. Right, 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 right. Um, and I mean, she's like a psychopath, insane narcissist. So I was like, "Sorry, you feel that way. You're a very talented person." And then she was like, uh, "Calling off the attack, everyone." He called me a very nice person <laughs> and talented, and like smiling face. <laughs> like, it's so easy to deal with narcissists. Oh yeah, yeah. Just compliment them, right? Yeah. You'd be like, oh, it's a shame. I'm a huge fan of yours. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Well, I, I can't lose an ally. This is a war. <laughs> Everything in my life is a fucking war. Uh, fuck. Yeah, Sal- Salman fucks, dude. Yeah, he yeah. smashes. <sighs> he smashes. How tall push. is he? Do we have the same body? You have the same yeah, exact body. Yeah, he's just as fat as you. <laughs> he's level three. No, I'm more powerful than him. No, tell, tell, tell this story. Adam was looking up your body. I wasn't looking at Max and Hadass. Because of the podcast, you said morbidly obese. I didn't say. I said regular obese. I you said, said no, regular. I said you were profoundly you said, obese. You said yeah. <laughs> and, and, then, and I vehemently so we stick looked to up, regular. We obese. looked up if what the designation like what if that's a medical designation uh-huh. based on what my approximation of your weight and height was. Uh-huh. And it was you're what five seven and I put five seven two sixty two sixty yeah. sure okay which I think is nice sure fine it's a little high right now because by the way I don't think I'm sticking with vegetarian it's made me gain weight I just keep eating chips yeah oh yeah well, and Twizzlers Twizzlers and last shit. night how about vegetarian and you that's just eat true. big cheese cheese wed wed <laughs> yeah. salads yeah yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, um now what did doctor what did it say it said like. Either stage three or you level three. You might want to three. sit down even more for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, said, it said level three morbid obesity. No, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Did you did you factor in yeah, how dude. powerful my legs are? That's the fucking, These are all muscle. You're the charge okay? of morbid <laughs> obesity. These are all fucking muscle. It was level. <laughs> Look was, at my calves, was, for uh, fuck's sake. I don't know if it's stage. This is not an obese person's Stop lower right. body. This is evolving it into Stavrosian. <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker! I don't know if it was stage or Stavrosian no. used eat. <laughs> it was incredibly effective. Stavrosian <laughs> used fatten. <laughs> By the way, that's not a nuanced enough tool because I don't. I'm not a regular motherfucker. All right, I got a different kind of body. Sure, my stomach you don't uses even a little help. Nuance to you is like when there's like a, dr- a dollop of mustard in mm-hmm. pea soup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's true. That's, that's the only. What's one of the kinds of nuances there are <laughs> that is a, that can taste just a little bit of something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is nuanced yeah. to me. However, I also a hint. I can't a n- be categorized this easily. I have a very powerful. I have very powerful. Haunches. I'm just saying, in terms of height and weight, that's not. It's too simplistic a tool. In terms of BMI, most people, in terms most of BMI, people with this kind of height and weight wouldn't wouldn't be this powerful. But I'm not. I'm not most people, Adam. Okay, I'm, I'm not. I'm level not trying three, to say morbidly that. Morbidly obese. <laughs> I'm regular obese. It might be for the stage last time. Three. I'm not sure if it's level three. Whatever it is, three. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> the point is, and also, like Nick that said, that tool like is Nick flawed. Said, there might be 25 stages. You might be early. No, you might be. Low I reject. Stage. No, no, no. I you won't even. I will stage. not do this. I'm trying I'm to not, give it to you easy. Absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, looking at you and knowing that you're stage three or whatever, I don't believe there's more than. Five stages. No, that's a <laughs> false imagine, diagnosis. I can't These imagine, aren't medical professionals. I, I don't know what the fuck they're talking two about. Two more stages after this. There's no way. The next stage is, uh, you know, uh, computer monitor pulled up to your bed and you, you live off fucking Taco Bell fourth meals that are brought to you by some probably mentally disabled Hispanic woman that is your wife or something. I don't really ever know those people's roles. And then stage five is... Uh, Doing the little hand bike? Yeah. A funeral <laughs> where the hearse is a U-Haul truck. <laughs> That's stage five. <laughs> it's when they bury you in one of the boxes they ship pianos in. <laughs> anyway, here's the point. I am not that. You bring any. You bring me a certified stage three obese motherfucker, I'll beat them in any test of physical strength or endurance. Oh, okay. Okay? Yeah. You bring. I'm a regular obese guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's all. That's all. That's what, what I want. The test is a buffet, and then you don't know whether to overperform or Fuck. underperform. Mm-hmm. No, it can't be. It can't be tricks of that, the mind. That is endurance. No, f- just physical. That is, <laughs> that is endurance. I'm just sorry, physical. but the only thing I understand is tricks of the mind. <laughs> that's the world I operate. Yeah. No, straightforward. No nuance. Deception. I don't want any nuance. Tactical operations. That's true. Yeah, you know? it's true. Nick got a glass, a glass globe for his room. <laughs> and he plans his his conspiracies. 
Yeah, I have a I have a, a for my birthday I bought myself a big big monitor that just displays the different DEFCON levels and, <laughs> and it connects to a big screen at the UN. I go, What's gentlemen. Defcon? What is DEFCON? It's uh it's like this big convention for uh deaf people. It's oh, a, no, it's cool. like and a black depending on the level. Th- okay. Yeah. No. Okay, go ahead Adam. You go if you want to talk over me. Sure. No, just, no, just go for little, it. Go. Yeah, let's a little hear one liner. Yeah, let's hear the bit. It's well, Nick def- seemed like he had a whole bit to do, but yeah, why don't no, you fill was, the time? I was, was going about to, to do. do my art. <laughs> I was going to be a creator. Defcon, you know, huh? It's for a black the pa- comedy for the Patreon yeah, it's like, uh, Russell subscribers Simmons. who are now being ripped off. <laughs> yeah. Russell Simmons made up his own comedy. Uh huh. How about Bustle called- Simmons? You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Actually, I think he kind of was that guy. Yeah, I know. Well, he had to leave the company. for Oh yeah, he got in trouble. Yeah. He, he would rape women, and then he would go, uh, now don't tell anybody because it's going to fall on deaf ears. <laughs> oh, That's why. <laughs> That's why he called it that. Yeah. Wow. Well, he would uh. bring he would bring in a a screaming disabled deaf man mm, to yeah. have sex with them, and then yeah. the deaf guy would come on their face, and the cum would be filled with blood. You know, really? It was Is such that part a violent, of it? It was such a violent act, and then Russell Simmons would come in and point to the the bloody come and say, now that's what I call Def Jam. <laughs> oh. Cool. And that's where the name comes from. Cool. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I like that. All of this is research. <laughs> that one feels like a little bit of a stretch, but... Hey, I'm getting... I'm doing yoga, joke yoga. Here's what I'm going to stretch I mean? out next, Adam's asshole. I'm doing Bikram yoga. Oh, yeah. Bikram? Yeah. More like suck dick room yeah, yoga. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I thought this actually was... that guy is a rapist. Yeah, I didn't realize Dude, it was the just Bikram a guy yoga named guy. Bikram uh, that. Yeah, it's women. a guy named Bikram. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's like, not Vikram, by the yeah, way. Yeah, he's like my whole plan is I'm just gonna make it a hundred. It's gonna be so hot they're not gonna be able to resist not, me, and I'm just gonna they'll I'm be just weak. Gonna grab asses and titties. I had a friend who was like who went like this yoga teacher was like let's go on a retreat together. Uh, and it was like she got there, and it was just like he was trying to fuck her. Like it was just Bikram. Oh my god, really, the Bikram? Yeah, just, a man was, tried to have sex with a woman. It was it was a fucking teacher, an Indian teacher. Now, yeah. are you interested, Nick? I mean, I already knew that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And These she's like, "Oh, I cool, know. I'll fucking go on a." Uh, and then she gets there. There's like one bed. Oh, it's you like know. a two-person retreat. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. it's at the Hyatt Regency. Yeah, yeah. And it was just a room, <laughs> and just in a the hotel yeah, room, a Holiday Inn. Ah, uh, wow. I bet that guy buys his sushi at Seven <laughs> Eleven. Yeah, it was Dan Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Nine tried to that. fuck my friend. I just said I Allegedly. think it's the guy that buys his sushi at Seven. Someone sent me a Dan Nine <laughs> tweet today, actually, that where he said, uh, "Just opened up my Bitcoin account." Good thing I bought twice as much as I previously thought I had. Hell yeah, Dan. He's, Congratulations. Yeah. I hope so he goes got bang. a billion he dollars. Money. Huh? Wait, isn't Bitcoin like a uh, like million dollars a Bitcoin yeah, right now? Yeah, it's through the fucking room. Yeah, I'm yeah. rich. I bought a bunch of it. Yeah. No, yeah, I mean, I personally, I I personally my, my money now is up to somewhere around $450,000 off. Mm-hmm. Off my initial $6,000 investment back in May. Yep. Yeah, so Mine, if you're listening to the show, that's real. And that yep. makes me a powerful man. I actually have ten bi- billion dollars off it. Me and the Vunkel Voss. Why do you, I actually why don't do you wanna, follow it? If I don't, you wanna, don't have any money. Me and the Funkle Voss twins. because that's what I do. I fucking I look at things. It's like that fantasy I football for you or something. No, it's like markets. I follow the stock market too. Okay, I guess yeah. we follow NBA. The thing like is, I can't cool. I can't really invest until I know what my money's doing for next year. I'm still not sure what the taxes are going to be with all this. I don't I don't know how this Patreon thing's going to go. Mm-hmm. But this decision they made is like a fucked up decision, and it's like if like you know, let's say they start losing a shit ton of money, mm-hmm. and they're willing to make a decision like this rash, you know, or whatever. Yeah, they don't seem like a stable. Yeah, business. then they make another bad move and yeah. another bad move, and then suddenly there's no more fucking Patreon. Right. What if they do something that gets them sued? You know, and then Patreon. Sorry, guys, we have to shut our doors because you know we're fucked. What then am I supposed to do? We're supposed to start Gatreon, our own service. No, where we had where we're gonna we sell your do the same house thing. And use the money to fund my PlayStation <laughs> Network subscription. <laughs> and we're going to invest yeah. in my Twitch career. You saw the you saw you you saw the contract, the fine print on the contract you signed. Adam. We have yeah. no contract. Yep, we did. As Nick made clear, we have a contract. Recently. It's um, if everything goes un- under, we own all of your family's possessions. Yeah. Oh, that's fair, dude. Mm-hmm. You can have, including your dad's boy pussy. 
<laughs> That's fine. Which I believe he got. Including your dad's at yacht College. that he takes. Uh, <laughs> that he Brian rents Singer. out to Brian Singer. <laughs> <laughs> My good friend, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you get another one of those young fellows from the Home Depot <laughs> to join me in the captain's <laughs> cellar? <laughs> I love that. Yeah. <laughs> See, we're not making fun of rape victims, folks. We're yes, making we fun of the institution <laughs> of rape. Okay, yeah. that's what what makes it. We're making a fun new of your dad joke. for yeah. being a rapist. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the institution of rape. After high school, I didn't know what I was going to do. <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to get a job. I was tired of working in retail. That's when the institution of rape put me on a fast track to success. <laughs> now, I scream at computers. <laughs> Thanks, institution of rape. I can finally afford a Subaru WRX. Hell yeah. If that's if you're a lesbian that likes to race cars. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is. Souped up, dude. Yeah, Souped that's, to I, nuts. That's, that's the kind of guy. It's like, I, I went to ITT Tech. And now I have meticulously crafted facial hair <laughs> and one of those overcoats over my suit. And I, and I do Cisco systems. Right. I go to fucking Blockbuster and I fix the payment systems. So a good Because I am a $50,000 a year businessman. So it sounds like yeah, a good ITT tech story is fucking hilarious. They just went out of business and like just locked the doors. <laughs> really? I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, so if you're an ITT tech student, you just showed up one day and all the doors were locked. <laughs> <laughs> no class yeah nothing. they didn't liquidate the debt either so it's like all these people that it, if you had gone to ITD tech for like two and a half years and didn't get your degree and you were just you were shit out of luck you just owed Jesus them Jesus Christ yeah fucking twenty thousand dollars or whatever oh my god that's how much ITD tech cost yeah dude what that sounds like a fucking pyramid scheme to me bro uh, that's why I'll never go back to school Psych, I'm gonna be a doctor, dude. Yeah, yeah you can go Let's to all ITT get tech. residencies. <laughs> <laughs> what did that stand for? ITT Tech. Incredible You're telling me those two Internet T's? technology. Incredible titty touching yeah. technology. Internet technology tech. Technology tech. <laughs> yeah. No, it's There's, incredible titty touching. I went to ITT Tech. It stands for Internet Technology Technology. <laughs> <laughs> technology Tech. Yeah. Uh, I went to ITT Tech. It stands for Computer School of Education. <laughs> 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 is that a nationwide thing? I thought it was just... No, a, it was nationwide. Yeah, it was nationwide. Oh, I thought it was just Maryland. No, no. it was everywhere. No. I think Lincoln Tech might have been... Oh, uh, yes, only. Lincoln Tech. I remember, well, there's I, Everest, too, and the University of Phoenix. University of Phoenix, I know. I've never I remember those Everest. Lincoln Tech commercials when I was a kid. Those like, very serious commercials where it's like, you know, the demand for automotive technicians yes. is growing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. is it? Yeah. And it's always a guy on a laptop computer next to an engine, like he's yeah. doing computers and they're nodding on at each other. Yeah, yeah. A guy, <laughs> like, a guy that's yeah. talking to camera while walking throughout the shop, and he never stops. Walking. Yeah, yeah. We should start our own technical institute, a podcast pod PTT Tech podcast technical technology, pretty tech. pretty titty touching <laughs> technical it, university. That's good. We should do a podcasting school. <laughs> just like, you know how shitty comics just yeah, rip people yeah. off? Yeah, Patreon did. They have like, they had fucking, like, the people that are the most successful on Patreon, as if it's not just luck for the right, most part. Right. They, uh, they're like giving seminars at Patreon. They had their own, you know, it's like, how to learn tips from the most successful creator. It's like the whole fucking thing is a scam. Absolutely. I'm like, giving a keynote at the Women in Comedy, Los Angeles Women in Comedy, or <laughs> Podcasting Festival. Yeah. Really? Congrats. Yeah. yeah. It's me, Hellbent. How to be the worst part of a podcast? Yeah. Is that your, t- is that yeah, your speech? Just, just just be insulted every time you <laughs> open your mouth. Just be constantly. We're calling Donald Trump a literal fuck baby on today's <laughs> episode. You got to say, this guy's, this guy's a motherfucking fucking trash scum. <laughs> and that's how you fucking resist. Garbage person. You fucking literal human crap <laughs> shit. <laughs> It really is. It's. I mean, I know I've said it before, but it's the fucking like dumbass millennial version of like, you know, khaki pants pulled up, you oh, know, yeah. milk toast white dudes that never learned how to curse, mm-hmm. so Absolutely. they lose their temper and just oh, say, you fuck ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to me, you shit. You son of a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've been a customer here for fuck years. <laughs> Damn. We should fucking punch them in the head. Yeah. With our big fists. Hell yeah, dude. I love fighting women. <laughs> well, we could pay fight. $75 to have them 
hang out with us on Skype. Is that part of the Patreon? It's on their level? Patreon, yeah. We should do well, that. And now, I think now, now that'll and, cost you seventy five. Seventy five fifty? No, it would be way more than that. Seventy seventy six dollars. No, it would be more than that. It's three percent plus thirty five cents. Yeah. So a dollar fifty plus thirty five cents. Yeah. So seventy seven dollars. Yeah. Damn, I did that math good. Dad. Good job, stop. That feels really good, man. Um, to do math fast. Is this what it feels like to be smart? Is this what Stephen Hawking feels like? Of course, yeah. dude. Fuck yeah. Of course. When he's yeah. fucking his nurse, even <laughs> yeah, though he can't getting move. sucked off by his nurse. When I was a kid, I thought that, Keep that computer it, you read fucking his whore. mind. <laughs> oh, shit. And then, like, he couldn't control. So it would just be like, you know. There's too many black people I here. I wish I was dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Somebody unplug my fucking <laughs> brain. I wish I don't, I don't want to think about stars anymore. <laughs> Please fucking kill me. <laughs> That's fucking... That would be awesome. Yeah, it's like, it's funny how they were like... He's an English guy, but they gave him an American voice. It's true. Yeah, that's but messed what up. What if they gave him an African voice, you know? Uh-oh. Oh. What do you think uh, that would uh, be for like? For example, what if... <laughs> but you have to understand, the universe was created by a Big Bang, you see? Because, <laughs> Bishop, seriously. Do you think the, the universe was not created? You know, that'd be yeah, fun. That'd be huh? good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I think it would go a little something, something mm-hmm. like this. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's me, Stephen Hawking. <laughs> yeah, we save money by get computer from China. <laughs> 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 yeah, you think Stephen Hawking wouldn't wouldn't skimp on something like computer, <laughs> but. You know, time is rough right now. <laughs> it's, time is relative, and it's also rough. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Damn, bro. Now I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry, too. Should let's go. Food? Let's go get a little something-something before our little show. little snack Laduchlio? Show Arenos. Okay. I'm down. Um, Adam, what, what are you, why, are you mo- why are you moping today? Having a fucking... I don't want to talk about what it. Do you mean, what do you mean? What do you want to talk? <laughs> he had a rough day, man. Yeah. Le- leave the but kid you didn't alone. say anything before the show, so I'm. Well, I he did. Got, I, yeah, I did actually. What you had to what run an errand? No, that's not true. And I don't want to talk about it on the <laughs> podcast. How many times do I have to fucking? You had tell to help you? your friend move something. And no, it's, no, that's not it. You okay. broke the window in his car, and no, no, he fucked a baby, man. I actually have previously told you what's going on, but. Well, I wasn't listening. I think you said what I told you. (laughs) Actually, I think I was telling Nick the other day we got dinner and then I was telling him about it. He turned to me. He's like, yeah, I just ate a lot of food, so I'm not listening to anything you're saying. (laughs) I I really can't. Okay, so you're complaining. I really can't have a conversation. That I'm an honest friend. (laughs) Yeah, there's a word for it. I'm an honest Abe. There's a word for it. There's a there's a term for blood. George Washington is the term. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Father. Old George. I cannot fuck a guy. Slave owner, dude. He so, chopped down that cherry tree. Slave owner. That's yeah, actually, yeah. Is that the kind of company you um, want to keep? <laughs> Nick? I mean, at the time. So you're saying you would own slaves? It's not like George Washington owns slaves now. Would I have? I mean, if I go back, would I have? <laughs> I don't know. Ask yourself, would you? Because here's the thing. You are complicit in fucking like human trafficking. Right, true. Well, like, Adam I, the most. You have to know. You have. Yes, exactly. He's literally <laughs> bought fucking people that are sex slaves. So, yeah, you probably would have had slaves, Adam. <laughs> Jesus. If everyone was fucking doing it. If we're being Not honest me. about it. I wouldn't have done it. Well, I'm, I'm a good guy. I'm no, probably you have really, an iPhone. An iPhone is made by people nope, that are like. this is an Android. I'm probably a really not. horrible person. person. You can't sound like I really know horrible. because I see your text messages <laughs> yeah. and they're blue. I got a different program <laughs> that changes them. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> but I mean, it's like Android phones aren't any better. They're made yeah. in North Korea. No, I don't have one of those either. I have a different phone you don't know about. You know, they're all filled. All North, North Koreans are filled with parasites because they make their food with their own shit. <sighs> really? They don't, have, they don't have fertilizer, so they just have to go out and shit in the fields to make strawberries. Whoa. And then they're all just like filled with Are those with sweeter? Are North Korean shit strawberry sweeter? According to their propaganda. <laughs> what if that's the sweetest strawberry you ever had in your life and it's all just fucking covered in North Korean shit? It tastes like dust. Hmm? Oh, so it's your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. How about Look. a movie where Adam's sewed to another guy's ass and he has to eat his shit? 
and it's called the Centipede Centipede. <laughs> oh, because it's a bug. Yeah. That's good. Would the other guy also be a bug? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, thanks. It's mm-hmm. a good idea. Look, Adam, podcast's almost over. You're going to have a steak soon. I'm excited you know, about my steak. Around, Why are you man? upset, dude? Is it because we're going to lose a bunch of money on this Patreon thing? Oh, yeah. Let's. Yeah, definitely. That's what it is. Well, money, you know, we understand you only. Understand one thing <laughs> Dollar bills I never knew what that thing was In that in that song What? The, that thing I never knew what she was talking thing. about In like Isn't fourth she grade? talking about like black people Like selling Pussy? themselves out or something I thought it was like sex or money I thought it was like guys only care about that thing So it was like guys only care about sex mm. Right? But I, I think, it, it, I think it, it means something completely different I don't know I've never given it a close listen. I've bobbed my head to it. It was my favorite song in fourth grade. I remember the first I time I heard it. Your favorite song was Under the Sea. No, yeah. not in fourth grade. Wow. I guess kid. we caught Adam in a big old lie again. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was like pre K. I liked Under the Sea. Mm. Under the Sea. And I got the into first, cool things. The first time I heard uh, Lauren Hill was at Eldis's house. Uh, and we also listened to Mace that day. I was six years old. That was that was uh, maybe eight, seven or eight. Yeah, Harlem World, dude. Fourth grade. That was a great year for music. His parents didn't understand English, so you anything slot. Were you in Eldis's house or Eldis's yurt? It was fourth grade, nineteen ninety eight? Probably for me and you, right? Yeah, fourth grade. I think I'm two years older than you guys. Eighty nine. Born. Where did you graduate? Oh five. Oh. Were you oh seven? Nineteen ninety eight. Was uh, OMC, right? How bizarre. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember dates and times and shit, dude. Uh, Spice Girls. Maybe. No. Mace was fifth grade because I remember I was sick. I was homesick and I just watched uh, the Bad, 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 Bad Boy. That music video. Bad, Bad. The shiny suits in Vegas. Bad Boys. You make me suck my own dick. Yeah, those guys are. You cool. put a gun up to my head and you make me suck my own dick. Well, I gotta I gotta drive uh, Juan Carlos back over to Home Depot. So oh, okay. Gonna, oh, okay. I should not only have a car now. Do you wanna pull him back? Do you, should, does he wanna talk? Can we say bye to him? Do you need to go get the car ready? I feel like I really enjoyed my time with him and not so much with you, but Do you wanna go warm up the car Can while we, Juan Carlos? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Honestly there's a little tension. Really like the there's a little right. tension between you and Adam. I think it would be good if we got Juan okay, Carlos here. All right, see you, dude. Sorry about that, Adam. I mean, you know how it's fine, dude. Me. I know how it can be. Juan Carlos. Anyway, I just want to thank you for your strength today. We didn't what say thank you. What are you so mad about <laughs> on your show? I think this is actually. Why good are exercise. you mad today? <laughs> yeah. Is it because you are gay? <laughs> Juan Carlos. First of all, is it because uh, you saw your dad's <laughs> dick? No, that was just a joke we were doing on our podcast. But That's what are you mad about? Let's talk about it. <laughs> I admitted to being raped by Brian Singer on the show, and you won't talk about I think this is actually like... You said we yeah, talk about your personal life. This is like an incredible like therapy. We have to like, talk about my personal life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the only way Nick can relate emotionally <laughs> is through his characters. Yeah. I am sorry if I hurt you. This is the way we can, <laughs> he can empathize. I am sorry. The concept of empathy. I call you those words. <laughs> <laughs> I treat you like bitch mom, but I respect yeah. and love you. Yeah, it's called being an actor, fellas. <laughs> it's uh, called. Well, Molestrius, thank you for telling star. me how much you appreciate me <laughs> and how much you value our friendship. Shut that. And how, shut the shut fuck up. up. <laughs> no, Molestrius, I, I was kidding, you I thought bitch. we were making progress. <laughs> shut up, bitch. I was kidding, thought, <laughs> bitch Adam. <laughs> God, Molestrius. Shut up to the bug, faggot. Geo, Geo's here, too. Yes, Adam is a fucking gay motherfucker. Mm. I'm going to tell your mother. All right, guys. let's watch the racial slurs and the homophobic slurs on the show, mm-hmm. please. It's yeah. we've gone too far, I think. Yeah, I agree. And you know who Guys, I blame? Me. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's one hundred percent right. All it's right. always your fault. But really, though, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have to have a long talk about your little uh, temper tantrums and storm cloud pouty sessions on uh, on the world's greatest podcast. Because That's right. If you think I'm gonna tolerate emotional volatility from my employees. <laughs> 
You're out of your fucking mind. What do you think this is? Starbucks? <laughs> I don't work for you. This is Cumtown Incorporated. <laughs> the LLC Little Little Cock. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that ought to, I think that ought to do it. Yeah, probably. When uh, well, let's plug the shows. What is this? Uh, yes, primo? tomorrow night. So this is coming out Sunday, Monday night. Last Funny Moms of the Year. Big lineup until we we're off Colonel for over Bustard. A month. We got Colonel <laughs> Buster. Colonel Buster. We got the Scarlet. Miss Scarlett Glenn Hansen. Gay Glenn All Gary Gay Ross yeah. <laughs> Glenn G- Gay What gay, is it? Gary no, it Gay was, Ross It was Glenn Very Glenn Gay <laughs> Yeah that's right Gay Chandler <laughs> G- Gay Ross <laughs> Glenn Very Glenn yeah. Gay <laughs> How about a show called Gay Friends <laughs> <laughs> Gay Gay Joey yeah, Your job's a joke You're broke You're gay And you're fucking gay <laughs> The <laughs> <laughs> sound is them sucking dick. <laughs> yeah, all all three people on Funny Moms have been on Come Town. That's They're right, Come Town alums. Timmy yeah. Dillon, Tim Could Bonnie I McFarlane. Be any more gay? <laughs> Petey Dat Boy and Bonnie McFarlane. But Rachel, I thought you had a dick. <laughs> no, Ross. I told you years ago. I'm a woman. <laughs> but but I thought I could suck your dick. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's very funny. Tonight on Gay Friends, <laughs> following Gay Seinfeld, <laughs> and then later on the Gay Simpsons. <laughs> and Marge, regular I have fr- terrible news. <laughs> and All then right. regular Fraser. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, we're not going to top that. That's, good. that's a good one. And Adam is especially not going to top that. So don't say anything. <laughs> uh, that's the end of the show. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.